age is how you wear it and it's not defined by a number so let's get into this grandma's look everybody and welcome back to ages how you wear it today I decided to come up here before I start all my filming taking my Instagram pictures and all that I said you know what I'm gonna hop up here and I am going to go over and just make it a quick uh, fall fedora lookbook so I took some pictures um, I actually did it for my Instagram reel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And maybe you'll think about joining the Butterfly family. Give this a thumbs up if you like the content. And of course, subscribe. Join me. Why not? So first, I got this fedora. And I like to do things on the budget. If I can save money, then that's what I'm going to do. So this fedora right here, I like the gold chain look around it. But the re like I said, I like this black with the chain. I didn't want to spend a lot of money. But as you can see, you can look cute in a fedora and not spend a lot of money on it. Now, I'm not saying I don't have quality ones. Because the thing with the cheaper felt feeling ones is the fact that they will start looking very old if you don't take care of them. So I have a a space on top of my in my bedroom on top of a storage where unit where I keep all of my fedoras and I keep them flat so they won't lose their shape and I try to take care of it as much as possible so this is the first look and you see I'm pairing this with a nice green hunter green um, jacket that I got that I thrifted the dress is thrifted the only thing matter of fact the shoes is thrifted Everything in that outfit is thrifted and then the hat of the entire outfit, which I can wear with other things. It's just the fedora and the shoes is the highest thing. Other than that, the jacket was like four or five dollars and the dress was like two. So got me a whole fall look for under fifty dollars that I can keep wearing in different by itself, different uh pieces great investment in yourself okay so the next look is i really like this hat now this hat i call it mustard i'm assuming this is a mustard color not a yellow i think it's truly mustard but um what i liked about it is the fact that this one the broom is harder and not so soft as the other one so I like the quality of these. I got a few from this brand and I like the gold touch on the side. But what I did was I added feathers. I bought me some feathers from Amazon and I put them in my hat to give it a different look. So I will link those feathers below. And I just love the change in this hat and it will look really nice in the fall. So that is why I got it. And it's just such a good look now. And I made it look to me, I like the masculine look of fedoras on men, the ones that the men wear, but I wanted the color. So all you gotta do is throw you some feathers in there and you got that look. And you see, I matched it I made the outfit even though the oversized um, button down makes it a little fall. So in the, the dress I got from H&M and it's thicker. So this is that is definitely a fall look, most definitely. And I just added this yellow because the, the, the um, button down has a little yellow in it and so does the shoes. So to me, this was a very cute fall outfit. And I wanted stuff that I could wear to work. So I wanted to incorporate work now. So start remembering that some of us is going back in the office. So we got to start putting these outfits together. And then I have for this next look, 
I have another one of those fedoras that's really thin. And you know what? The, the look is still, I like the, the tan in that look and the browns. And I also put a feather in this one as well. Make sure you can see the feathers to give it a different look, especially when it's the cheaper fedoras and they're not as sturdy. Just give it a different look. That's all you gotta do. For this outfit, I really like this look with the black and the, the dress. I this, I this is one of my favorite looks. So I really like this look. Next is another fedora um, from that same brand and it has that gold around it, but it's this rust color that is perfect for fall. And I put feathers in this one as well. I really like the different colors of the feathers. Look, remind me of fall again. And with this outfit, because you know I always do my outfits first, so I'm trying to make sure of the outfits that I wore with it. But of course you're seeing it here. And I just love this rust color. And this the dress that I'm wearing with it, I love the fall colors in it, even though I wore it in the summertime as well, because it's very thin. Um, and I got that dress, I believe, I. I got it from Zara. Yeah, that is a Zara dress. And I just love the rust color and the shoes that I wore with it with that deep um, burgundy. Um, and I believe those are my Dior shoes. Very nice. See, I'm not keeping you long. You know I try not to, you know, um, because I just want you to see my look, see what this grandma wear. And you do not have to be a grandma to wear these outfits because these are outfits that really, truly, if you're working in an office environment and you like to wear your fedoras in, you know, you take your fedoras off, you know, you make sure your hair's good, still good, but you look good coming in the office and leaving the office. <laughs> yes. And the last hat is, of course, the most ex one of the most expensive was actually the most expensive ones out of these fedoras that I'm showing you. And this is from Lack of Color. I just love their hats. Uh, it's a blue one that I want for fall as well. It is such a nice hat, and you can wear hats. Hats is not does not have to be worn just. Um, in the summertime to keep the sun off of you or uh, in a, a, a fall, autumn time. You can actually, depending on where you live, I live in Florida, I can get away with this in the winter. This is to me my winter hat as well. You can wear a fedora in the winter. If you're not in one of them cities that is raining all the time or it's really windy and you can, you know, even though Florida does, we do get some rain. But on those times that we don't, even in the winter, oh yes, you can get away with a fedora. And of course it's well structured and I just love that beautiful, uh, this look more like a peach color going around the tan than a, another tan color to me. But this is gorgeous. And you see that um, the way I styled it, I love wearing these with my, um, I think it's my Schultz shoes that tie, that has the rope that goes around the ankle. I really like pairing this hat with that because they just go so well together. And then I styled it with this outfit. Love this fedora. It's not a cheap fedora, but I did show you other options and there are other options out there. But if you want the quality and you want your hats to last, invest in it. I think it's a great investment. Okay, guys, that's it. Look at there. Grandma did not keep you long. So don't forget to follow, go over and follow my home channel, uh, Welcome to Grandma's House, where I just show you small things that I do to enhance my home. It, 
and you might see some ideas that you like. So go support your grandma over there and then come to grandma's house and join me in my butterfly family. As always, no matter where you at in your transformation, you still beautiful. Bye guys.